Hello everyone. I am so happy to present you my paper, The Effect of Perceived Value of YouTube Algorithm Recommendation on the, on the Intention to Use, focused on value-based adoption model. I am uh, Professor Kim Mi Kyung of Chongun University. I will uh, introduce about my thesis uh, purpose. This study established a research model based on value-based adoption model. This study aims to examine the perceived value of algorithm recommendation information as a variable of benefit and sacrifice, and to examine how to variables affect the intention to use through the uh, perceived value. The result of study will provide a foundation for understanding of the factors that users consider important in relation to the rapidly accepted spread of YouTube use so that they can approach the characteristics of YouTube as a media and the, the nature of its use effect. As a literature review, first of all, I will uh, introduce about YouTube algorithm recommendation system and uh, uh, the role of gatekeeping. The recommendation function of algorithm consists of data mining, the data filtering, data analysis, algorithm, infographic, uh, customization, and the user evaluation of data acquired from the networked public. The result value of content recommendation is outfit, output with the data obtained in the network public and the data algorithm. In the era of intelligent media, the network public plays a role as a gatekeeper. YouTube's algorithm recommendation was based on the number of clicks in 2008, and the video is recommended based on viewing time in 2012 and the direct evaluation by users in 2016. Numerous videos are recommended based on users' usage records and the context and are ranked according to uh, other recommended resources and the video quality. It reaches the end user. Recently, the quality of content has improved as uh, professionals uh, have been hired to evaluate the value of news and information. Accordingly, the perceived value of YouTube content increased view viewship in the long run, so it can be pre predicted that the perceived value of users affects the, the intention to use YouTube. The, uh, and uh, I will uh, introduce, uh, explain value-based adoption model. The Technology Ac Acceptance Model, TAM, by Davis, Bogotzi, and uh, Warshaw, uh, described the intention to accept the technology focusing on perceived usefulness and the perceived easy. is to, to use. Value-based uh, adoption model sets benefits and the sacrifice as a major elements of perceived value and analysis analyzed analysis the intention to use by perceived value based on value-based acceptance model or adoption model 
This study attempted to ex examine how convenience and sacrifice affect to intention to use the algorithm uh, recommendation service. Perceived usefulness, usefulness means the extent to which potential users think that using information technology in, a, in an organization will improve job performance. And perceived ease to use means uh, the extent to which potential users expect to be able to use it without effort. Perceived usefulness and perceived ease to use have been shown to be highly collect, correlated with attitude toward information te technology. Perceived bias is defined as a consumer perception that information using YouTube algorithmic uh, technique is bi biased to either. Perceived risk can be said to be a concern about negative consequences that can be obtained when a user uses a service. The overall negative perception that users feel while using algorithm recommendation service is called perceived risk. Perceived value is customer's cognitive evaluation of utility of a product or service from the user's point of view. Perceived value has been exp explained as a, sub a subjective evaluation perceived in the, in the process of consumers choosing a product or service. It has been considered as one of the important variables in determining behavior or attitude. Perceived value is the main motivation to continue to secure customers. It was explained that perceived value in various studies is a variable that directly, directly or indirectly affects the user's behavior intention. Intention to use means evaluating the services used by the customer based on the present time, deciding whether to use the service at the future time. The, the uh, intention to use is not only a one-time transaction between a cons consumer and the company, but rather a long-term relationship. Perceived usefulness and perceived ease to use have been shown to highly co correlated to with attitude to information technology. Also, as a uh, um, variable related to, uh, to technology acceptance, it was identified as uh, variables with very highly explanatory power. Even in the value acceptance model, perceived usefulness, perceived ease to use was also proposed as a major variables affecting uh, perceived value. And as a result of the analysis, they were found to have a positive effect on perceived value. Lee jong hyuk reported the result that perceived bias affected the fairness evaluation and the use of media. Kim and Ri said that bias information exposure affects the perception and use of information in the real world. Perceived bias has been shown to affect news cons cons consumption and the reliability, agenda setting effects, and the public opinion formations. Uh, previous studies have shown that perceived risk has have the greatest impact on the adoption of new new media. Perceived risk are uh, uh, also presented as a determines of user adoption re resistance 
in the innovation adoption resistance model. It has been verified by several existing studies that perceived the risk affect resistance to new, new media adoption. This is my uh, research model. The two, two, uh, two v, uh, v value based adoption model uh, has two uh, variables. And then in the first benefit uh, variables, I put the two uh, usefulness, uh, perceived usefulness, and the perceived ease to use. And then I put uh, sacrifice, uh, uh, I put the buy, perceived bias, perceived risk as uh, perceived sacrifice uh, variables. So this benefit variables to intend to use directly or this variables uh, uh, in fact, uh, to intention to use mediating perceived value. Also, sacrifice elements has uh, two perceived bias, perceived risk. These two variables directly to inten affect intention to use or uh, these two variables uh, affect in fact affect intention to use mediating uh, perce perceived value. So this kind of uh, many uh, this many uh, hypothesis has uh, uh, has uh, as follow uh, as following. So I have uh, uh, broadly five hypothesis. So first, the perceived usefulness of YouTube recommendation service will significantly affect the perceived value. And then perceived ease to use of YouTube recommendation service will significantly affect to the perceived value. And then perceived bias of YouTube recommendation service will significantly affect the perceived value. The perceived risk of YouTube recommendation service will significantly affect the perceived value. And the perceived usefulness will significantly affect the intention to use. Perceived, uh, perceived ease to use will significantly affect the intention to use. Uh, perceived bias will uh, significantly affect the intention to use. Perceived risk will significantly affect the intention to use. Five, the perceived usefulness, perceived uh, is to use, perceived bias, and the perceived risk will significantly affect uh, in to affect the intention to use through or mediating perceived value of YouTube recommendation service. So I composed the five five hypotheses. This uh, research methodology is uh, uh, is uh, like that. First time data collection and data analysis. This uh, collection um, is uh, 2021 September from September first to 2021 September 14. Uh, for two weeks, uh, this uh, online uh, survey, I contacted online survey using the convenient sampling method. Uh, the number of effective samples used the uh, analysis in uh, is uh, 3033, except for respondents who do not use YouTube at all or do not know algorithm and those who have a reliability problem. So based on the gender of effective respondents, there are uh, 137 males and then 196 females. And then the more detailed information in uh, of detail 
uh, um, uh, uh, social social demographic information is like that. So uh, for data analysis of this study, uh, we I used the SPSS twenty point zero uh, for statistical processing of data. Mediating effect analysis generally use the Baron and Kate methods. So and the sober test and the indirect effect uh, verification using bootstrap. This uh, this study has uh, advantage of not having the having to go through various procedures and the new analysis method called process macro is being spread as a method of verifi verifying the medium uh, medium effect so uh, i in installed the process uh, v3.3.3 on spss win window 20 zero for mediation analysis and this paper used the model number four proposed by Hayes uh, to verify the significance of the study model the bootstrapping boot method was used to resample uh, 10,000 times and uh, and the variables put in a uh, in were mean centering the significance very verification used uh, uh, 95 percent com confidence interval and was uh, determined to be statistically significant when uh, zero was not included between confidence intervals and then uh, I have uh, five uh, five or six six uh, I composed six I composed six uh, variables so already when I as I explained uh, in advance I put the uh, uh, first use police and perceived is to use perceived bias perceived risk and the perceived value of algorithm recommendation and the intention use so i put the, the concept uh, op operational concept i put i explained and then uh, first uh, variables uh, Cromwell alpha is 0.69 and then perceived is to use is uh, uh, 0.6 to 6 and then uh, pa perceived bias is 0 0.7734 and uh, the perceived risk uh, uh alpha is 0 0.656 and then perceived value is uh, uh, alpha 0.765 Intention to use uh, is uh, 0.713. So most of the variables is uh, enough, uh, enough reliability. So uh, based on this measurement, uh, uh, I just used uh, uh, process macro model number four to 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 verify this uh, result so first result is about the first uh, perceived usefulness and the intention to use perceived value on algorithm recommendation so uh, mediating perceived value uh, perceived usefulness uh, uh, mediating perceived value I uh, I uh, found uh, the relationship uh, perceived usefulness and the intention to use. So uh, that result, as a result, as shown table one, it was found that the perceived usefulness has a significant effect on perceived value of algorithm recommendation. The perceived usefulness was verified by affecting 
the intention to use. It was found that perceived value of algorithm recommendation had a significant effect on the intention to use. However, uh, perceived usefulness did not affect the intention to use mediating perceived, uh, perceived value of algorithm recommendation. Second result is about perceived ease to use and intention to use, so perceived value on algorithm recommendation. As a result, it was verified that perceived ease to use had a significant effect on perceived value and uh, the perceived ease to use has a significant effect on intention to use. Perceived value of algorithm recommendation was verified as having a significant on the uh, intention to use. It was verified that perceived is to use of effect of effect the intention to use uh, through uh, perceived value of algorithm recommendation. Research uh, result three is about a perceived bias to use and intention to use perceived value on algorithm recommendation. As a result, perceived bias uh, was found to have a significant uh, effect on the perceived value of algorithm recommendation. It and it was verified. Uh, perceived bias was found found to have an effect to, to intention to use. It was found that perceived value of algorithm recommendation affects the intention to use. It was verified that perceived bias of uh, perceived bias of bias affect the intention to use mediating the perceived value of algorithm recommendation. Research 4 is about perceived risk to use and the intention to use. Uh, perceived uh, value on algorithm recommendation as a result. Uh, as shown in Table 4, the perceived risk of hypothesis 2-2 was verified was having an effect, effect on algorithm value perception. The perceived re, uh, risk of hypothesis 4-2 was accepted because it did not affect the intention to use. The algorithm perceived value was verified as having a non if effect on the intention to use. The perceived risk of hypothesis 5 was rejected because it was found that perceived risk did not affect the intention of use through the value of the param parameter algorithm. So the last, uh, last my uh, statement is about the conclusion. So in this page also uh, already uh, as I explained about that result, I just summarized that result again in this conclusion. And then uh, this is my, um, uh, my implication of this of studies. So I will read this, this part. Most of studies on YouTube adopted the factors of perceived usefulness and perceived ease to use suggested in the technology acceptance model. This study empirically in identified the value and the intention to use of YouTube's recommendation service by approaching uh, sacrifice, sacrifice the cost aspect using the technology. This study was able to grasp the nature of a more balanced YouTube recommendation service by verifying use users' attitude toward technology acceptance and, and value acceptance. 
from the result of the study, uh, it was possible to understand the reason for using the actual YouTube recommendation service in terms of value. Since user negatively recognize that YouTube recommendation service is based on the collection and misuse of personal information, this study proposed algorithm literacy to solve the one of the sacrifice factors perceived risk in using the YouTube algorithm service despite this uh, despite it uh, theoretical and the practical significance this study must overcome the limitation of convenience ex extraction method that to do to not uh, represent the population in addition, if this study had a secured specific opinion and information through in-depth interviews or interview with research subject before or after the survey, validity was research of the research result could be improved. The, uh, I will um, finish. Uh, this presentation and then um, this is uh, uh, my reference but as uh, even if I uh, summarized this paper uh, but I need to uh, improve in detail of the of uh, uh, in detail uh, implication of this study so after uh, when I uh, uh, when I uh, apply my paper, I will uh, pro 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 improve or define uh, more and more. So uh, so I will finish my repre presentation. Uh, it is very difficult to understand uh, this concept. Thank you for listening carefully. Thank you. Bye.